So were Achilles and Patroclus friends or were they a little bit more than that? This is a question that people have been exploring since ancient times and I want to give my two cents on it because after doing a little bit of research for this one, I happen to think they were more than friends and that the Iliad makes so much more sense now when I consider it this way. So let me tell you what I found. For context, I'm sure most of you guys know who Achilles is. So Patroclus is someone who was brought up with Achilles and trained with Achilles. He may be slightly older, which is why some ancient authors thought that it could be a pederastic relationship. I happen to think they're on much more equal footing. So do with that what you will. But we do know that Patroclus was told by his dad, counsel Achilles while you guys are over there in Troy because he's gonna listen to you and Patroclus happens to be a softer, wiser person than Achilles. So we see Achilles yielding to him with a tenderness that he doesn't have for anybody else. It can be easy to write off the way that Achilles affectionately refers to Patroclus while he is alive, or even one thing that he says, which is, you know, God's willing, all of the Trojans can get oofed, all of the Greeks can get oofed, but if it's just me and you losing the sacred diadem of Troy, that would be great. Um, we can write all of that off as regular battle buddy stuff, but once Patroclus passes, it's hard to write it off as they were just friends. They were definitely more than friends. Who cares about the physical part of the relationship? They loved each other. And that grief is really the wrath that the Iliad is referring to in that first word, manin. Once Patroclus passes, Achilles can't eat, he can't sleep. When he takes out Hector, he even refuses to bathe until he knows that they're going to throw Patroclus' funeral. He wants their ashes mixed together once Achilles passes himself. It's just getting deeper and deeper the more you look into how distraught this man was over his friend's death. Achilles says of his own grief that it is stronger than if it had been his father or his son who passed, which that's wild, but definitely I don't, I don't think I would say that over a friend, you know? Now there is one line of textual evidence that they may have had a physical relationship and I'm gonna read you two different translations because you can tell which one is the they were just friends and which one is the they were more than friends one. To give the context of these lines, Thetis is trying to cheer Achilles up after Patroclus passes because he's not gonna live long so like he needs to get moving again, you know? And so in the They Were Just Friends version, Robert Fagel's translation, it is a welcome thing to make love with a woman. Like she's saying, you should do that to make yourself feel better. Um, but the way she says it in the translation that's a little truer to the Greek is, it is a good thing even to lie in love with a woman. You know, even. The even participle is there in the Greek, saying that there is some sort of emphasis here on the even with a woman part. To bring this back full circle to what I said at the beginning, that the Iliad makes so much more sense to me now, is that it's not that I didn't have my professors say, hey, Achilles is extremely angry and distraught over the death of Patroclus. But when you consider that they were lovers, the fact that it is the wanting to marry Briseis and make her a more legitimate bride that makes him angry enough when she's taken away in the beginning. But the anger over losing his other lover too is the second part of that wrath. And it, it is maybe even the stronger wrath. So then the closing of the Iliad with Priam negotiating back the body of Hector is finally the soothing of the wrath. And it makes sense why the Iliad starts when it does and it ends when it does to me now. 